Hey YouTube, Jason Mills here. How we doing? Uh, as you can see, I'm on the beach right now. It's a uh, Sunday in South Beach. You see there's uh, tons of people on the beach. Uh, I'm, the beach is really big here in South Beach, so you can kind of like, I got plenty of distance to just like walk and talk and film. And then all the people are gonna be more closer to the water. Uh, but absolutely gorgeous day. Uh, so I just gotta get a ton of filming done today. I'm looking to get like 30, 45 minutes of filming done today. So this is gonna be a setting. And uh, for a lot of my next few videos, I'm not saying they're all gonna be uploaded tonight, but I mean, just look around, come on. I mean, why would I not wanna just embrace this to the full extent? Uh, so. It's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grind today, just work hard, film a lot, and then uh, do some editing later. But uh, a little bit of background about me. I'm originally from uh, Prairieville, Louisiana, a little small town outside of Baton Rouge. I was born in New Orleans, uh, but I only lived there until I was like three and then my parents got divorced. And I moved down back to, uh, and I moved up to uh, the Baton Rouge area and that's where I went to school. I went to all of my school in there, went to college there. Uh, I was a heavier child, and you know kids are pretty mean, so I think it always kind of screwed with me, and that's why I talk about calories now, because by being in, not only just working out and being active, but like really paying attention to my calories, I dropped a ton of weight, you know what I mean? And now I look great, and it's not me bragging or nothing. It's just, it's been hard work and I, I'm enjoying it, you know? At least I know I didn't peak in high school, right? Uh, but here's another quick view of South Beach. So then after that, I went to college in LSU, which is in Baton Rouge. Uh, graduated in accounting, uh, God knows why. Uh, but I was one of those people that hated where I grew up. Uh, so I graduated December 17th uh, from LSU, go Tigers. I do still love the Tigers, still love my, uh, still an alumni, love my, love my university, but I did hate Louisiana growing up, so I wanted to get the hell out of there. Uh, so uh, I graduated December 17th. My mom wanted me to hang out with her for Christmas one last time, so Christmas was on 25th so I stayed and then in December 26th all my stuff was already packed up and I left at 8 o'clock in the morning on and I drove 2,000 miles to California and I lived in San Diego initially uh, loved California it's a great spot really cool it was always missing something there was something about it that it just never felt a hundred percent like home even though I love the beaches love everything about it. Ended up going to grad school at San Diego State. Uh, and I got a job in accounting when I was done. And, you know, working in public accounting, sometimes you work 80, 90 hour weeks. And like people, people treat it like it's normal. I mean, it's miserable, but in that industry, people think it's normal. And I just hated it. Really, really hated it. But I kept, I kept grinding and grinding. I got through two full tax seasons, you know, and uh, just didn't love it, you know. I was like, this is not what I want to do with my life. And I'd always waited tables and bartended through college. So I was like, all right, there's, there's an opportunity here for me to always get a job and do something else if I have to. Uh, so I saved up some money. Because, you know, accountings do make pretty good money. And I, I, I saved up, saved up, saved up. And then after working all that overtime, my second tax season, because, again, you're working 80, 90 hours a week. And I was fortunate to be in a place that wasn't salary. So I got paid for all that overtime. I, I booked a ticket to Munich, Germany, and took off on a flight to Europe. Uh... That was on, tax season ended April like 17th that year, because the 15th was on a weekend or something like that. 
and I landed in Germany April 29th, something like that. Uh, so yeah, and then that started this eventual like three year world tour I would kind of go on. Uh, so after, so then I started traveling Europe. I was there for three months, four months, something like that. Uh, eventually got signed up with a deal through one of my friends about teaching English in Korea, which is, it's a really easy thing to get signed up for, especially if you have a degree, which like I said, I graduated, I did have a degree. Uh, so I got a job teaching English in Korea and you know, they take really good care of you. They pay you really well. They give you an apartment. They uh, do any, everything to like treat you as well as possible. You get health care, everything, you know. And it's in South Korea, of course, not North Korea. But, uh, and then I, so I went and did that for a while. And I was teaching English and it was cool, you know. Uh, but it wasn't for me. Korea is not my favorite. I, I don't love it over there. For one, it's freezing. As you can see, I, I like hot, humid weather, not the cold. I mean, look, I'd much rather this than being in snow any day. Uh, so from there, my life continued, but I'm gonna put that somewhere in another video. Uh, so on this one, you can go ahead, like and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Snapchat. <laughs> uh, they're all going to be posted on this video in one of the corners, so check it out. Uh, and I'm going to do some more filming, but I'm trying to keep my videos kind of short, and this one's running pretty long. So I'll get back to you, and we'll start with the Korea. All right? Talk soon.